So everyone's been asking this question recently about meeting Madonna. Mm -hmm. This is all I want to know. Tell me about her house. Was there like a bag of Doritos on the ground? <laughs> no, it was beautiful though. It was great. Uh, David, her adopted child, or answered the door, which I thought was like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> just like kicking it down there like, hey man, what's up? And we walked in and um, yeah, it was just beautiful. It was great. Did there was a lot of art. The bedroom? I didn't see the bedroom, no. I was yeah. led right to the music room. I didn't, I wouldn't want to push it with Madonna. <laughs> I was happy to be there. I had five minutes to talk to her. Um, I was in a room that was like a music room, like a practice room for her that right. she writes in. There was also a bar in the corner and upon leaving after a conversation, she said, you guys can make yourself a drink if you want, I don't care. <laughs> Which I thought was great. Were there any pictures of me lying around? Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah. I knew it! You're wearing a cone bra, it was amazing. I knew it! Yeah. More of that on Lambert coming up after the break. Citizen Vane or The Citizen Vane? The Citizen Vane. So that was the name of the band you were in? Uh-huh. Did you, so that was pre-idol? Way pre-idol, yeah. What was the least amount you got paid for a gig? We didn't get paid. Yes. Not once. Did you have a, did you play to four people at any time? Did I what? Did you ever play to like four or five people? No, I think, uh, I, uh, we were at the Cat Club on Sunset Boulevard and we played to probably about 40. That's all right. Yeah, I got paid in tequila shots. Well, that's rock and roll. Just leave it at that. More of Adam Lambert <laughs> coming up after the break. Hey guys, welcome back to The Daily Fix. That was excellent. I like left it up in the air for you to grab it. And I- The I, Daily I, Fix. I was like, boom, boom, and I took it. So listen, <laughs> we talked about this a lot on our show when, when we were hearing in the news. The whole Queen thing, mm. when Brian May was saying how much he dug your voice and that you were going to be the next singer of Queen, did that ever come close to being a reality or was that the media blowing it up? The media kind of, it was a game of telephone uh, with the media. It was more of, uh, we really dig you, we should collaborate someday. Kind of leaving it up in the air, right. expressing the admiration. I was so flattered, I'm a huge Queen fan, uh, but then the media turned it into Adam Lambert's going to be the next lead singer of Queen, which right. was not the case. So it never got to the point where it would be like, you know, it used to be Queen and Paul Rogers, so it wasn't going to be like, okay dude, it'll be Queen and Adam Lambert. No. That would be daunting. I mean, you got pipes That's and all, That's pretty intimidating, yeah. Yeah, very I don't, intimidating. I don't even know if Paul Rogers should have been doing it. I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like it's, I, you don't go near Freddie Mercury's legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's amazing. Was amazing. I mean, he still lives on as amazing. So, I kind of wouldn't want to go near that. I would love to sing with them for an event or something, but replacing and touring as, I just, it's, it's deal. Yeah, it's intimidating. Well, why don't we play some old school Queen right now? Yeah. This is the song that you auditioned with. Yeah, when you knew Rhapsody. you were going to get four gold tickets, or one gold <laughs> ticket, however it works. Bohemian Rhapsody on the, do you remember the name of the show? The Daily Fix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to the end of the show. It's kind of sad. I'm a little sad. I'm sad. Yeah. Coming up, Adam's going to endorse me as the replacement for Simon Cowell. Can you do a British accent? No. <laughs> All right, welcome back to The Daily Fix. Now, Adam, when you were kicking with Oprah there a little while ago, um, you said something really interesting. Uh, I think it was something like the reason you auditioned for Idol is because you felt bored with what was going on in your life and you wanted to kind of push it and get stuff out in the universe. Yeah. Here's my question for you. Now, a year later, I've listened to so many interviews you've done. And it's always the same three questions recently. Tell me about the American Music Awards, talk about that Rolling Stone magazine article, and how's your life changed since Idol? Uh -huh. That's gotta get boring, dude. I mean, as much as you love your job, come I, on. I do love my job, and I like talking, and I love interviews, but the questions are getting a little redundant. Can we get a little creative? Come on. Maybe I just need to do more. I think you I do. need to do newer think, things, so there's newer things to ask about. Maybe. It's my fault. Yeah. I'll take is, responsibility. See that? So listen, we started a little group here a little while ago on Facebook, okay? okay? It's called The People for Matt Wells Replacing Simon Cowell on American Idol. <laughs> now you laugh, but this is my gig to get. You're pretty sharp. I'm, I'm into it. I think it would be good. We need a billion followers is what I'm- A I'm billion? On Facebook. So will you go to your minions on Facebook and Twitter and send them the link? Yeah. For you, yes. For the you, checkers, yes. Ah, ah! Do you hear this? Now, 
You've been there. You've been in front of Simon. I don't want to be him. I want to be better. So let me hear it. What, you've sat on the couch with me for an hour now. You're already too nice. We just met, though. Can you and I'm trying to get the job. Can you get crankier? I can get crankier. Okay. Let's try. Ready? Let's pretend we just met. Okay. Ready? What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Daily Fix. My name is Matt Wells. And check out the <laughs> on the couch here with... <laughs> How's that? That's good. Yes. <laughs> All right. Listen, <laughs> it was good to see you, man. You too. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> We're going to play another one of your videos. Awesome. What's it called, Claudette? Time for Miracles. I'm going to let you, because I can be an <laughs> and I can be nice at the same time. <laughs> I'm going to give you the couch and let you introduce your video and say goodbye to the people on the Daily Fix right there. All right. Hey, Daily Fix audience. Thank you so much for tuning in. Check out this video for Time for Miracles. See you next time.